Well, good morning, YouTube world. Welcome to In the Kitchen with Tally Faye. I hope everybody's having them a good day today. It's a beautiful day here in Iola, Texas. It's beautiful, sunshiny, drying all that old mud up out there and everything from all them big rains and stuff. It's windy, but hey, that's going to help dry it up. So, I got to get me some mowing in, at least in the yard area, so it wasn't driving me crazy. So, I feel better about the yard, but all the creek bottom and the tank and everything all out there, I got a ways to go before I can mow that, right? But anyway, I'm in here getting ready to start doing some cooking in this kitchen today, y'all. I uh, took a rest yesterday. Buzz cooked supper for me. He made his cheesy deer steak, which is on these videos. And uh, cooked me up some mashed potatoes to put that gravy over and stuff. And what else did he do? Oh, he cooked me some zipper peas, y'all. And we was able to eat some of that fresh garden relish that uh, those pickled vegetables that i did the other day and oh man they were so good with those peas just like i thought they would be so i'm glad i made that y'all gonna need to make that and put you some in your fridge for eating fresh with some of your home-grown vegetables and such but the first thing i'm gonna work on this morning y'all is i'm gonna make this homemade devil's food cake Y'all, I love devil's food cake, and, and I'm here to tell you, I have all my life made them in, with the box. I have. They're delicious to me or whatever. I don't know. I'm a chocolate fiend anyway, right? But, I mean, I, I think they're great, but I wanted to try it, and I did this back probably over a year ago. It's in my videos when I made one, but I made it in the 9 by 13 pan, the Tally Fay way. Y'all know I ain't about making them pretty and stuff and everything. But today, y'all, I've got my my two nine by thirteen. I'm uh, nine by thirteen. My two nine inch cake pans sprayed and floured, and we're gonna make us a double decker cake with the frosting on it and stuff. Okay, look, I'm feeling challenging today. <laughs> I ain't gonna be scared. I ain't gonna be scared because y'all know I don't make pretty stuff, right? It tastes great. But it ain't all that pretty. Oh, my goodness. But we're going to try it. We're going to do it today. Because I know this recipe is the best homemade devil's food cake recipe I've ever, I've ever done, uh, tasted, not done. It's the only one I've ever done. Because all I had to do was make it that one time. And that's when I realized, oh, uh, my goodness, this is so delicious. So, if you have the time. Right? And you got company coming? Y'all try to do this cake that I'm going to show you today. And do the two pans, okay? Do the two pan one. Just just because. Alright? Let's get started on this thing. I got everything out and ready. Now, I really don't understand this part of it. I think because it's a really thin batter cake or something. I don't know. But I, it just went off. My oven is preheated at 330 degrees. I'm not exactly positive why that is, but it obviously they wanted to bake slow. So, any old who, preheat your oven, 330 degrees, all right? We got to get these dry ingredients mixed up first thing. I got it all set out and ready, y'all. I hope y'all are having a blessed day. It's wonderful here. I hope everybody's doing okay, doing good, and if you do have problems going on, just keep each other in your prayers and lift each other up, okay? God's got it in his hands. He's going to do what he's going to do. So, you know, you got to lean on that and trust in it. I do. Here we go. All right. Got me a kind of medium-sized bowl here, right? I'm going to add all my dry ingredients in this, and we're going to just stir them up a little bit. So I've got two cups of all-purpose flour right here, okay? Two cups of all-purpose flour. Now, I need me, let me get me a teaspoon out of here. I think that's my teaspoon, yep. I need me a teaspoon of salt, regular salt. Get it in there. Teaspoon of bacon powder. Teaspoon of bacon powder.
okay? And a teaspoon of baking soda. Need a teaspoon of each of those. Mm, let me, there we go. All right. Salt, baking powder, baking soda, okay? Now, to this, I need to add, I've got three quarters of a cup, y'all, of the good old cocoa, okay? And I kind of got it mounded a little bit there, but it's still, that's three quarters of a cup, we're calling it. How's that? Three quarters of a cup of cocoa. And now, the last thing I want to put in here is I got measured out in this bowl, two cups of granulated sugar. All right. Let's get that in there. Now, we just want to stir all this up together a little bit. Get all that combined. I always say let that sugar grind the uh, little lumps out. I always think that's what it's doing. I don't know. Get it stirred up and mixed up in there. got that mixed together. Let's set that off over here to the side for a minute. And now in our mixing bowl, we are fixing to take, we need one cup of vegetable oil, y'all. Y'all know I use canola oil. So use what you, your preference on that. Not olive oil, but like vegetable oil, canola oil, whatever, corn oil, any of those will work. Okay, I've got oil and here's the Here's the thing, y'all. You need a cup of coffee. And I just got one of my little Keurig cuppy thingies, right? And just brewed me up one little cup. That should be close enough. But I guess I reckon I'll pour it in here to make sure I got me. Look at that. Ba ba boom. All right. I got me a cup of coffee going in. One cup of oil, one cup of coffee. Why do I have two cups of milk on there? I do not need two cups of milk. I need, whoo, I need one cup of milk. I've got two cups in here. Let me double check that. Yep. Okay. Oh, here we go. One cup of milk. All right. One, one, and one. One oil, one coffee, one milk. Okay. Set that out of the way. All right, we're going to, okay, that's our oil, coffee, and milk. Well, this is the only second time I've ever made this, so I'm double-checking myself. Oh, okay, I'm going to stir this up a little bit. Let me get this stirred. Kind of combined a little there. Looks like coffee creamer, or creamed coffee. There we go. It's like creamed coffee. Okay, that's good enough on that. I've got that mixed together. And now we're gonna add our dry ingredients to this. So, get that in there. Trying not to make a tally fight mess, y'all. Lord have mercy. Y'all know I can do it. All right, I, what I am gonna do is take this before I get my electric beater holder. Look at there, I already did that. And kind of stir this together with my hand whisk just to keep it from puffing up powder on me, right? Get it mixed together a little. You don't have to do this step right here. You can just go ahead and take the chance on getting the chocolate cloud if you want. Hey, if it's a chocolate cloud, it's a good one. Anything chocolate is good. Okay, that's gonna be good enough on that. I just wanna get it kind of mixed together there. All right. Now, I'm going to beat this for a minute, y'all.
Okay. Now, I've got two eggs cracked in this cup. Two eggs. I need to beat them up real quick. Just give them a little, a little whooping. Okay, and I need me a teaspoon of vanilla, okay? For me, that just means I'm gonna pour it in this cap full. Close enough on that. Now, let me beat that together a little bit. Okay. Okay, so we've, we've got that beat up, and now our eggs and vanilla are beat up. And we're going to just put that in there. And we're going to beat it a couple of more minutes with our mixer. Just a couple of minutes there. Now this batter is kind of sort of a little thin, not a lot. But to me it's a little bit thinner than just a regular cake mix. I don't know. Maybe that's because the cake mix I've always used has been the box cake mix for a devil's food cake, right? So this is the real deal, y'all. Looking good. Look at it. I'm going to show you. See what I'm saying? It's kind of... Not a lot, but I don't know. To me, it just seems a little bit thinner. Who cares? We got the measurements right. We ain't going to we ain't gonna sweat it. Don't be scared. Don't be being scared of it. This is a homemade devil's food cake, buddy. I am ready for this thing. I just hope I can make the little layer dilly. <laughs> okay. Now... Let me get over here. I'm gonna get my get my prepared pans, okay? And I got them on this big cookie sheet to help me be able to get them in and out a lot easier. I ain't worried about them running over. I just I think it'll help me handle them. Now I gotta try to pour it up evenly in here, y'all. Oh my goodness! Let's see how good I'm gonna do with that. Have one layer of cake, big old fat one in a. <laughs> And a skinny one in the other one. Oh, uh, my goodness. That would be about par for the course for me, wouldn't it? I don't know, y'all. We're going we gonna to go with this. <laughs> Let me get every bit of it. Oh, oh lordy. I see it. We going for it. There it is. There's our two layers. Okay, now I do know that when I made the other one, that the time on it. Now remember, like I say, that was in the nine by thirteen pan, right? That that baked for forty five minutes, y'all. Uh, you know, because it's baking so slow. I don't know if the time's going to be different or not on these uh, little pans. It can't be that much difference, but I don't know. You know hey, what do I know? I'm just in here cooking because I ain't scared. <laughs> oh, okay. We're going to put it in the oven. I'm going to try to try my best to remember how long it takes them to bake. You know, with the two pan, with the two nine-inch pans, and then when we get them out and while they're cooling, we're going to make us up. Some good frosting to go on it. Some good old chocolate frosting to go on it. And we're going to try to make our layered cake. Okay? All right. I love y'all. Just stay busy doing something and I'll see you after a while. What I am going to do is I put my timer on 25 minutes, okay? And that way, because you know how those pans are uh, catty-cornered in that cookie sheet? At 25 minutes, I'm going to take it and I'm going to rotate that and then just set it again, you know, for 15 minutes or so or whatever and start watching it from there. But I'm going to let them bake like this for 25 minutes and then I'm going to rotate it 
you know, and then just start watching at the last half of the baking process. Just do it until a toothpick comes out clean. Don't cook them dry, okay? Don't bake them dry. So watch them close after you do your midway rotation, right? Okay. All right, y'all, they're done. And so far they look pretty. Let me show them to you. I don't want to mess with them too much while they're hot. But see, they baked up pretty. I think so. Anyway, that's pretty for Tally Faye. <laughs> I'm going to take them over here. Matter of fact, put them on my table on this rack and let them be cooling while we're making this frosting. Let me get them over here, y'all. Set it over there on the table. I've got the dining room windows open. I've got the house opened up so far this morning because the wind's blowing and it's it's nice and cool i guess is the word or whatever anyway it feels good so y'all know me about letting fresh air in the house while i can right anyway so now our cakes are cooling so we're going to go ahead and beat up our frosting but we will not put that on there until uh they are completely cooled okay so let me get my stuff over here let me grab my stuff I had to go get me a headband on to keep my hair back a little bit. Sometimes I have to leave my hair down, y'all. People say ugly things about me leaving my hair down on here or whatever, but, you know, not very often do you see me with my hair down. I keep it pulled up in a bun, but sometimes I have to get it out of that bun because it gives me headaches. I got a lot of hair, big old curly mop of hair, and it's heavy. So, you know, sometimes we just have to let it be down. So, any of you ugly saying people or whatever i don't know what to tell you today i'm gonna let my hair be down and it's out of the it's out of my face okay anyway on past that we're ready to make some chocolate buttercream frosting for this delicious devil's food cake okay that other recipe i made y'all was a, a lighter uh buttercream frosting that was delicious it was delicious on there y'all but today i wanted that I wanted it to be darker, so we're going to see. This was another recipe I came across, so we're going to try this one, okay? Like I said, we're being adventurous today, you know. I don't know, challenging, right? But I got everything set out and ready. Let's do it. Let's get it stirred up while the cakes are cooling. All right, first thing you got to do is I have two sticks of butter here, softened butter. Two sticks of butter. We're going to put them in there, all right? I don't care if they're salted or unsalted. That don't matter to me. Okay, two sticks of butter. All right, we need two teaspoons of vanilla. Two teaspoons of vanilla going in here. One, two. Okay, two teaspoons of vanilla. And now I want three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. So I've got my little quarter teaspoon measure in here. I'm going to do it like that. One, Two and three. There's three quarters of a teaspoon, okay? Got it. Now, we want to beat that in. Beat that together and get it nice and creamy. That's going to take a minute. All right, we got our butter and vanilla and salt all creamy in there. Butter, vanilla, and salt. All right, the next thing we need, y'all, is four cups of powdered sugar. I got that measured out in this bowl. Four cups of powdered sugar and, um, oh, our cocoa. Oh, we're going to have to mix these together, it says. Mm. Well, let's see what I've done there. Because I need, I need, um, what have I got here on my cocoa? Half a cup of cocoa powder. I don't know that I'm going to be able to stir it in this bowl or not. I'm going to try it, y'all. Could be a tally fay mess. I'm due one, right? I'm due one. Let me see what we got going on here. Get it stirred up in there a little bit. Get it mixed. I'm going to make it, I think, y'all. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Oh. 
Okay. We got that mixed together good as I'm going to do it there, I reckon. Looks good to me. Well, wait a minute. There's a little powdered sugar coming up. Okay. Good enough. All right, so now our four cups of powdered sugar and our half a cup, which I had a big half cup if y'all seen that. I had that running over. Uh, mounded half cup of cocoa, right? Regular old cocoa and regular old powdered sugar. That's what we did there. All right, so now that's stirred up in our bowl together. And the last thing I have here, y'all, is I have, what is it here? Is that a quarter? I think I need, oh yeah, that's right. I need one quarter of a cup of heavy whipping cream, y'all. Where's it at? My good old H-E-B heavy whipping cream, okay? One quarter of a cup of that. So now what we're gonna do is add our powdered sugar mixture a little bit and some of our uh, cream and then powdered sugar and cream. Kind of do it kind of like that while we're beating along there, okay? Okay, y'all, that took a hot minute now, but I want y'all to look at it. See how thick it is? And I'm not going to lie, I picked up my cocoa box, and I just went like this. Boop, 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 and gave it a few more little, I wanted it more chocolate looking than that. You don't have to do that, y'all. I told you, you know, what did it have? Half a cup. So that depends on how much chocolate you want in there, right? Tally Faye just added her some more. Y'all know I'm like that. Now, I thought about adding a, a little tad more of this heavy whipping cream. Because it's pretty thick, y'all. I just don't want to tear my cake up. But actually, I run my finger in it, and I think it's going to be perfect, y'all. Let me stir it. Let me beat it just a minute more, okay? I think it looks really pretty, y'all. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm not gonna add no more of the, <clears throat> the uh, whipping cream to it. So now, we're gonna go over here in just a minute. Let me turn it back up here. We're gonna go over here in just a minute. Let's see. Had it crookers there. And see. If I was a kid, I'd ask Mama for both of them. <laughs> it's delicious, y'all. It's delicious. I just want to be able to spread it. I don't want to be scared of that, right? Right? Okay. We are getting down to the wire on this thing, y'all. Let me put it back down here in young seat. We'll see how it feels with this spatula.
It's pretty soft, y'all. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling better about it. Running this through it. I'm feeling better about it. All right, we got to let make sure those cakes are cool, but there it is, y'all. There is our delicious buttercream chocolate frosting for our layered devil's food cake. I can't wait to put it together, y'all. I'll check on the cakes, and uh, we'll put it together here in just a little bit. All right, so they're cooled, okay? So, first thing I did, y'all, was I got me a piece of parchment paper, and I don't know if I should have done this or not on this on this cake plate, but I just didn't want it sticking to it. I hope maybe it comes off of here when we do our slices. But anyway, I cut me a circle out of my parchment paper, and to make it stick on there, I just sprayed it a little bit with some spray, with my cooking oil, right? Just real lightly. And then that way when I laid it on there and I pressed it, see, it'll, it stays on there, right? Just like that. That's how, that's a tally faith thing anyway. Whether that's right or wrong, I don't know, right? But that's what I'm going to do there. Now, on the cakes, I've got two to choose from, right? And one of them you got to put on this plate upside down because you want the flat side, the flat sides to meet together for the center icing, right? So I'm thinking the top of this one is a little more even and pretty. This one's got one little dent in it right there or whatever. But we're going to just take it and put it on here upside down. So, I'm going to take my cake plate and do it just like that. Turn it out just like you do a pan of cornbread. That's what I'm going to do. And hope it comes out of there right. Right? There it is. What a boom. Okay. Okay. Make sure it's in the center there a little bit. Now, we've got to put our frosting on. No, just the center. Just the center, right? Oh, I wanted to show y'all something else I did. When they when they started cooling down to kind of ensure that they were going to come out, I take them and hold on to them and do that around the edges. See? And that helps pull it away from the edges. Whether that's right or wrong, I don't know. But if they're cooled, they ain't going to fall. Don't do that until they're cooled, though, okay? So now we got to get this icing put on this cooled cake. Okay, so here we go. My deal here is, is I don't know how much of it to put in the middle so that I have enough to do the whole outside, right? So I'm just going to put me a big old... thing in the center there. See if I can come across it like that. I just want to make sure I got enough for the outside, right? What y'all think? Am I going to end up with an ugly tally fake cake? <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. This does take a whole lot more time and effort, and I ain't going to lie. When you could just whoop one out in a, in a uh, 9 by 13 pan and be done with it. I want it to stay in the center there. My parchment paper is sliding around. I'm fixing to call that, y'all. Okay, there we go. 
All right, now we gotta get this another one here. Woo, lordy, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna turn it like this, I guess. It came right out of there. Yay. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I'm getting excited. Well, maybe I shouldn't do that yet until I can get this outside spread. Oh, because this is the part that matters, I bet. It's spreading easy, y'all. It's a thick icing, but it's still very spreadable. And y'all know if I can spread it, then it's gonna, it's all right. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm wondering if y'all want to sit here and watch me try to ice this whole thing. I hope it don't make the video too long for you, but I'm gonna let y'all see me go all the way through it. If not, you can skip through it and look at it at the end. You get tired of watching me trying to get this on here correctly or remotely correctly, okay? I'm sure it's not exactly correct or whatever. I don't know. You can bet people will come on here and tell me what I did wrong or something. What they can't tell me is going to be wrong is how this booger tastes. I can tell you that right now. Right now that it's going to be delicious. I'm actually almost starting to be proud of myself on this thing, y'all. Just might going to be make it work. I'm going to have to get the kids to come over and get part of this cake. I do not need a whole devil's food cake at, to be sitting on the bar for me at free will. No, I do not. I am about to get this thing, y'all. I can't believe it. See there? That's why you don't be scared. If I can do this, y'all can do this. Absolutely you can. If I can do this and make this thing look decent. Like I say, we know it's going to taste good. This, this whole deal on this video was... Seeing if we could make a a layered cake that didn't look like it fell off of a truck going down the road or something. Okay, I got that much icing left. Let's see what we can do with it. I'm going to put it on top. This icing recipe is great, y'all. Y'all need to, when I do my cookbook, I'm gonna put this icing recipe in there for a chocolate icing, okay? I am working on that cookbook, y'all. And that means I'm having to do stuff in the computer. So that should tell y'all something right there that Tally Faye is struggling with that. But I am determined I'm gonna get it in there how long it's going to take me, I don't know. But I want to do the little cookbook. Oh, uh, my goodness. Mm. 
actually, I believe this is the perfect amount of icing for a two-layer cake. Remember, the only thing I did different, and that was just because I'm me, was I added me a little bit more chocolate, uh, cocoa in there when I was beating it, started beating it up. I wanted to see it looking a little more chocolate than that. Okay, I don't know where you finish doing these swipes on it. All right, I'm gonna take it and do this. <laughs> Maybe I just ought to do that, right? All right, now, let me get it back in the center here. Okay. Now. Maybe just... Kind of, sort of, like that, right? And now... I'm gonna swirl it like this on the top. Should I do that on the sides? Oh, it's working. Okay, okay. Looky there, y'all. Oh, Lordy, don't tear it up now, Tally Faye. You start getting rough with it. Y'all know I'm, like I say, I'm, I'm rough. I'm not good at being gentle with stuff like, if you're going to be around me, you got to be tough. There it is, y'all. I'm calling it. I have got to call it. That's got to be, that's got to be the Tally Faye. Chocolate, how do you say that? Layered, chocolate layered devil's food cake? No, layered, just a layered devil's food cake. Layered devil's food cake. We made it. We made it through it, y'all. Look. Look at it. Look! Oh, my goodness. I'm so tickled. <laughs> Look, it ain't perfect, I don't think. Looks like I got me a angle going there. I don't know. When you're looking at it from the top, you don't see that. <laughs> if anybody's going to get down there and be going like this on it, well, you know, I ain't even going to let them have a piece of it. How about that? Huh? Okay, look. Oh, let's see what this is going to do. <gasps> oh, it made it. Oh, I am so tickled, y'all. That is so great. Listen, even Tally Faye is proud of myself today because I made a beautiful layered cake that looks like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I have a lot of videos work to do today, y'all. This cake was the first thing I needed to do so I could get it out of my way. And hopefully, my other ones are a little bit shorter videos. Y'all try it and let me know what you think or whatever, okay? I'll cut a piece of it after a while and uh, we'll see. It may not be after a while here in a little bit. But I just want to leave it in there and look at it like that for a little bit. I love y'all. We'll, we'll cut a piece. And see what it looks like in the middle. Yeah, we've got to do that. Okay, okay. Video ain't over yet then. We'll do a quickie at the end of it and cut us a piece. All right, y'all. Let's cut into this thing. About right there, I reckon. Lord, that's a huge... <laughs> I'm tired and I'm goofy more than the usual. Let's see if we can get it out of here, y'all. See if it's gonna come out like it should. I'm gonna lay it down on its side, though. Oh my goodness. Y'all, that's where I stuck, 
fork in it. But there it is. Telly Faye made it. I got it made, y'all. I'm going to take a bite and get off of here because this video is so long. I know y'all are sick of it. Y'all, I'd win a ribbon with this one. I love you. Thanks for sticking with me for so long on the video. There it is. Y'all have a great evening. Stay blessed. And I'll see you next time in the kitchen with Tally Fight.